And good morning and welcome to Coach's Corner, live from McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop. I'm Tim Torrance. We do it live every Saturday morning, well, mostly live every Saturday morning from McDonald's here across from the Madison High School. This morning we're going to talk basketball, Madison girls basketball with Coach Sonia Boyer. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. How are you? Good, you? Pretty good. Enjoy your Thanksgiving? Oh, I loved it. Ate lots of food. That's too much. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the kids didn't eat too much food. Oh, I know they did, but don't worry. We've got practice right after this. <laughs> I'm sure they're looking forward to running a little bit. A little bit of extra running today. Because <laughs> they all smile down there. <laughs> a little bit of extra <laughs> running today. That's right. Uh, you are 4-2 and two, uh, as we sit right now. I haven't played a conference game yet. Uh, we'll do that this coming week. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go back and reflect on a year ago. 11-14. and 14. <laughs> Uh, but as I looked uh, just a little bit ago, I wanted to refresh my memory. You were at one point last year 3-11 and 11, and then finished at 8-3. and three. Yeah, you know what's crazy is I was thinking about this time last year, and I'm pretty sure we flipped our record from what we started out with mm -hmm. last year. I think we started out like 2-4, and four, and at this point mm -hmm. we're now 4-2. and two, So that's a huge improvement of starting out from last year to this year. You, you look at, at your, your, your team a year ago, and, and let's kind of – go back and reflect on that season your first as a varsity coach kind of take us through it um you know a kind of a tale of two seasons the first half of the season I think the kids were still figuring out the program still figuring out the plays and getting getting used to playing that style of basketball you know I think we definitely sped up the tempo last year uh, compared to the years previous so I think that was something they had to get used to um, but now you can see that we've had a year together we had the summer together which was huge which was really important and you can definitely tell I mean it's almost a different team out there from last year to this year when you come in as a varsity coach you know I I'm pretty sure we probably talked about this last year, but when you come in as a varsity coach and you're putting together your style of play and your program and everything else that goes with it, how do you figure out what you want to do? Um, well, you know, it's kind of I have to coach the way I played. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you also have to look at the girls in the way they are because, you know, you can't you can't speed a team up that doesn't want to be sped up. But you could tell these girls, they wanted to run and gun. Um, they wanted to press when they can. They wanted to get the ball inside. Um, so it's kind of kind of a little bit of both. The way I played, which was fast, mm -hmm. you know, not slowing down the ball, and then kind of looking at these players. They came down. They want to come down fast, shoot, and kind of a style of the way I played and then also the way they played. You, you look at that kind of style and, and how it how it develops – and then how it develops is 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 the pluses and minuses of how your games go. Mm -hmm. But you hope as a coach when you work on that in practice, mm -hmm. everything gets better. Oh, yeah. You can tell with these kids, you know, when I when I try and slow them down a little bit, they're like, no, coach. I was like, all right. You, I sat in the locker room at the trigger show. I was like, I'll let you do you today. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll let you go out and I'll let you play. <laughs> so, you, you're again, 11 and 14, you had picked up a sectional win over Franklin County before you, you lost to Lawrenceburg. Um, kind of as the season progressed – um, it took them a while to get into the, the flow of things. What kind of clicked with them, you think? Um, you know, starting in January, I think that's when we kind of played our best basketball. And that's kind of where you want to be. Sure. You know, when you're talking about coaching, you always tell your girls, you know, you want to – get you play your basketball best basketball leading up into sectionals and I think that's really what we executed um, and I think it just took time I think it takes time for a team to develop the way we need to be playing and you know you don't want to peak too early you don't mm -hmm. want to peak at the beginning of the season and then go backwards so I think you know yes or last year worked out really well where we were playing our best basketball you know and I think their confidence grew you know once they got a big win all of a sudden they were like hey we can get this next big win all of a sudden right. you're like whoa we can beat any team at any time um, so it was really special to watch last year um, as they developed Developed. Uh, was there any facet of the game that they it kind of it kind of clicked with them a little more? You know, I kind of talked about last year at the beginning of the year. Um, I didn't think our zone looked very very good at the beginning of the year, and then all of a sudden at the end of the year, I was like, oh my gosh, this is one of our best defenses. So it's kind of weird how it started out last year and kind of doing different things at the beginning of the season, and then towards the end of the season, it was completely different. You talk about the zone. <laughs> how do they play man to man, or how did they play man to man a year ago? Well, a year ago we had to play more man because our zone wasn't working this year our man's looking really good as long as we don't foul <laughs> <laughs> Got to give them a little look down there. Yeah. But they, but they know that. You know, they're right. smart players. I, there's things that I don't have to tell them. They know that. You know, um, going into it, they know that they can play aggressive defense and they don't have to foul. It's just sometimes even I'm guilty of it. You probably know that. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> you know, even I was guilty of being a little bit overly aggressive mm -hmm. and getting those fouls. But it's something that you learn with time and some things that some lessons you got to learn in the game. Well, and you would, 
I, I would think as a coach, you would want them, you would want to have to tone them back instead of speeding them up. Right, and they're naturally, you know, they're naturally that fast. And, you know, i got to remind them, like, you don't have to foul to play good defense. You don't have to foul. And luckily we've got some great kids up here, and we've got a deep bench this year that's really been helping us out when we do get in foul trouble. So, again, 11-14 and 14 is what you finished a year ago. You get done with the season, and then what do you think? Okay, this is what we need to do going into the into the off season and into the summer, what were those thoughts? Um, well, it was kind of different because um, our leading scorer, Jade Nutley, she ended up getting hurt in AAU. So that kind of changed our perspective on the summer. And, you know, I hate to say a blessing in disguise, but, um, you know, it had took these kids to realize that, you know, when Jade was in her process of healing, other kids on the score were, on the on the floor were able to score. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, you know, you, we wouldn't able to have been able to see that we could do without that situation. It was a terrible situation. She came back, you know, she hungry and, mm -hmm. and wanting to get back. But I think, you know, these players on the floor realize, hey, I can score too and I can do things. And that, when you put both of those things together, it's awesome. Well, and and the off season is a good time for kids to realize that. Yes, too. you know, and we had some kids, you know, step up and and be able to do things, you know, put in positions like, oh, now I'm a shooting guard. Now I'm the point guard where I wasn't last year. I wasn't even close to this position last right. year. And you could see them even now, like this summer, help them realize that they can do those things and they're doing it in the season. How much uh, time was spent in the weight room? Um, if you if you know Jay, uh, he keeps us in there, keeps us busy. Um, a lot of room. We, we were there every morning this mm -hmm. summer from – Eight to nine, nine thirty, mm -hmm. almost every single day, um, and then right after that we'd go to practice. Yeah. So tons of time spent over there at um, Madison CrossFit. We mm -hmm. use their facilities, and they are awesome. They make they push our girls, and you know our girls push each other, and then they're also push, pushing the other teams that are in there, um, the cheerleaders that are in there, the football teams, mm -hmm. the basketball boys, the soccer boys. We're all pushing each other, and it's just a very beautiful thing to see. Coach, uh, four and two this season. Let's kind of jump in, and uh, before we get into the season, let's talk about. You, you jumped into practice. Uh, it's always a short window from the official first day of practice till your official first game. Um, you, you got a good nucleus back from a year ago, uh, but you had new faces. But again, that nucleus is back, so it's not like everybody's coming in blindfolded and, and don't know what's going on. Right, and not to mention from a year ago, they had to learn every single new drill that we did. Right. You know, this year we were able, we knew if I said four corner, they knew what they were doing. You know, if I said a drill, I didn't have to teach it to them. So the beginning of the season went a lot smoother and a lot faster, and we we were able to jump into a lot of newer things quicker mm -hmm. you know we're able to throw in some new offenses and some new defenses and those type of things and just went a lot smoother than <laughs> going in a year ago where right. we've only had two weeks together before our first game now we've had a year and two weeks together so that was a huge advantage so we get into the season you start out first game against charlestown get a big win a potential sectional opponent mm -hmm. talk about uh, that one um you know i kind of i called that one of our revenge games from the year before because um you know that's a tough game to start out with for the very first game of the season now since we switched sectionals mm -hmm. um it's a sectional opponent so I knew I had to get those kids prepared and ready you know gotta you know everybody's gotta watch a lot of game film and see they lost their leading score from the year before so right. I knew their dynamic of their team was going to be different so it's kind of you never know the first game of the season how it's going to go but I think the kids responded well and it came down to a close game and you know maybe a year ago we might not have been able to pull that out we didn't have the confidence to but since we had a year under our belt we were able to pull out the W. Good. Uh, then from there you go to Lawrenceburg drop the decision there uh, again Lawrenceburg you played them last year in a sectional game uh, and played them a few times and, and again <laughs> talk about Lawrenceburg in that particular ball Gosh, game. Gosh, they're a tough team. Um, you know, I didn't feel like we played our best ball game there. Um, playing down there is tough and, you know, they're not a sectional opponent anymore. Right. So our game plan was a little bit differently than what we would have been, you know, having them be a sectional opponent. Um, but again, I don't I don't think that was our best showing. Um, I think mentally we weren't ready for that type of play just yet. Right. I think maybe if we see them, you know, if we were to see them later on in January, I think it would be a different ball game. Then you get back-to-back -back wins over Switzerland County and South Dearborn. Um, yeah, a, a pretty convincing victory over South Dearborn. Your ground went out against Switzerland County, got a, an 18-point victory. Talk about those two games. Um, again, you know, I called the South Dearborn a revenge game because the year before we dropped that one. I'm still a little bitter about it. But, you know, I think the girls knew that we're, we mean business this year, and there's no reason to drop those types of uh, games. So I knew that we had to get them prepared and let them know, like, listen, they, they hadn't won a game, but, but you know what? They beat you last year. Year. Right. So I didn't want them to overlook them by any means. So I wanted to make sure that they came in prepared. And I think they did that. They came down there and took care of business down at South Dearborn. And then last Saturday, um, it was a game over here uh, against a, a 
pretty good Salem team. You hung in there the first half. Didn't have a particularly good third quarter. Uh, we talked the other day about it. Uh, pretty good ball game for you guys. You know, I think three out of the four quarters we were the better team. But, you know, when you're playing, I think now they're the number one right. team. At the time they were number two. But when you play the number one team in the state, you got to understand that even one quarter you can't. When, when you're playing that caliber of team, they're really good, and they're going to take advantage of your mistakes. Um, but, again, I'm excited if we draw them again for sectionals. I know the girls will be ready for a comeback and be ready for some revenge. So I'm excited about it. I got to see the first half last weekend, and, and one of the things I noticed, and I told you this the other day, that I thought your flow – in the in the first half, inside out, you know, from side to side was really good all the way around. Mm -hmm. And you had good flow both offensively and defensively too. You know, I think that defense was leading into our offense mm -hmm. because if you notice we got lots of deflections in there. We we definitely turned up the notch on the defense and I think that that was able to lead us into our offense rather than just walking it down and setting up a play. Our defense was was getting us offense. And and then uh, Southwestern a big victory over the the Lady Rebels on Wednesday night. Uh, that game, again, a huge crowd. Mm -hmm. You guys handled it pretty well. Yeah, you know, again, we had to adjust to the way the game was being called, and that's mm -hmm. one of the things you just have to do. Sometimes you just got to suck it up. And instead of pressing the whole time, we had to kind of take it back a little bit and show our half-court defense and what we're made of. So that was a challenge that we had to overcome, and I think the girls stepped up to it. We've got five seniors coach, all five of them in this <laughs> morning. That's I'm impressed. Hey, you know, when you have five seniors, that's an accomplishment. You know, mm -hmm. think about, you know, how big the school is, and we were able to keep five of them, you know, playing basketball basketball that's awesome I love to see it you only had one last year her sister's mm -hmm. here we only had one last year and and Bailey Dyer but five this year talk about talk about the five before I get a chance to talk to them you know they're making me feel old I was thinking about it uh, oh, I don't know if no. they remember but I think I coached them one summer when they were like in the seventh or eighth grade and so now I'm feeling really old but I've got a great <laughs> I've got a great group down here um, dedicated funny love to play the game and just they love to make it fun out there and make it a team effort if uh, how much do you rely on them <laughs> I got my right hand man right next to me. She keeps me in line. She's texting me like, Coach, do we need to text the team? I'm like, Yes, we do. Thank you for texting me. <laughs> so I think I need to hire her as my secretary. Do they do they kind of handle things when they're on the floor? Do they? Kinda? Yes, to an extent. Yes, I think it takes kind of a group effort. You know, I that was something that we needed more of last year, and I think they're doing a lot more of it this year. You know, there's only so much I can do on the floor, and then so when they see it first and they can talk to each other about it, you know, I can tell them to go rebound. But when your teammate tells you to go rebound, you're gonna go rebound. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Morgan, you're up first. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being here this morning. No problem. Um, you're the coach's right hand man, are you? What, yes. is, what does that mean? What does that mean um, exactly? What do you do? A lot. I feel like I do a lot. <laughs> uh huh. She but, does. <laughs> um, like she said, the text. Mm -hmm. If someone texts me, I'm like, well, I don't know. I should probably <laughs> ask coach. <laughs> so that and getting them going at practice, like, there's no downtime. We don't need downtime. Right. Like we're there for two and a half hours. Let's go. What uh, what's what's your favorite part about playing the game of basketball? Um, probably just being with all these people mm -hmm. crazy people are they crazy <laughs> they're love lovely lovely yeah. That's lovely, what it is. lovely yeah. people uh -huh. um uh, what's what's uh what's the biggest challenge of playing basketball um well of course everyone wants to win right and be successful but like that obviously doesn't come down to your wins all the time so when you are um not on the the winning side or not on the the side with the best score when you're down in a game what do you how do how's your approach what do you what do you tell what do you do with everybody else i mean how do you keep them up if we're down there's usually lack of energy mm -hmm. so i've got to somehow get that back up uh-huh so i'm trying hard do you, do you try hard <laughs> i do try hard yeah yeah what uh what what's your outlook for the season um i think we can be successful we had like she said a pretty successful season last year and i mm -hmm. think it can just carry over and keep going what's it going to take <laughs> Um, teamwork and positive attitudes, for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you have plans after college or after high school yet? Going to college? Um, I'm going into elementary education, but I'm not sure where I'm going yet. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. Let's roll down. She's going to be one of the best teachers. I'm telling you. I, I can. I can see <laughs> I that. I can already tell. Yep. I can see that. All right, Jesse. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Um. Who's the better ball player, you or Bailey? <laughs> Bailey, for sure. <laughs> okay, that was a quick answer. Oh, well, a nice shout out. That, to her that's sister. right. Exactly. Uh, Jessie's got her own aspects of the game that yeah. she can do really well. So it's yes. hard to compare those two. Right. Um, I'd like to see him play one on one. <laughs> Do you play one-on-one -on -one with Bailey? Do you do that? Not usually. No, not usually. All right. Um, why do you play basketball? Why? Um, why? Why do you do that? 
Oh. Well, it's kind of in my family, and I've yeah. played since I was like kindergarten, mm -hmm. first, second grade. So it's been in my life for a while. So yeah. What's I've What's your favorite part of playing? Um, probably my team. Yeah. We've played together since we were like little. So. Yeah. They're m just my friends. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a Do you have a uh, a part of the game that you like better than others? Um. For sure, defense. Yeah. Because I'm not very good at <laughs> offense. <laughs> so, what makes you a good defender? Um, probably just with my team out there, it's helpful when they're like telling me what to do, and mm. it's just helpful with them around me. Biggest challenge to play defense? Biggest challenge? What's what's what do you have to do to to be a really good defender? Probably communicate. Yeah. Is that challenging? Why? Um, just because there's a lot of stuff going on at once, mm -hmm. so it's hard to keep it, like, mm -hmm. tell everybody what to do. And yeah. Stuff. Do you have an outlook for your team this year? I think we can do pretty good. Mm -hmm. We did good last year, and since we are only missing Bailey and we all stuck together, I think we can go pretty far this year. Do you have a, a college plan yet? Um, I think I'm going to go to IU Bloomington mm -hmm. and study business. All right. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. I'm with Jesse on the defensive part. Yeah. That was my favorite. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> good defense typically equals aggressive offense. Mm -hmm. sure. Typically. Megan, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, why in the world do you play basketball? Um, Kind of the same thing as Jesse. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a family thing. Yeah. I've always played. You enjoy I really playing? I really enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, favorite part of the game? Why do you, what, what's your favorite part of playing basketball? Um, I like being with my teammates, and I really like offense. Mm -hmm. Offense. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite part of playing the offensive end? Um, shooting. Shooting? <laughs> <laughs> when you're open, shoot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how's your defense? Um, it's not the best, but yeah. I, I can't do it. <laughs> she makes for it up, up for it in other aspects. So. Right, right. So what, what do you need to do to be a better defender? Um, move my feet and yeah. communicate. Communicate. Uh, we, yeah, we've heard about communication on defense. It's, it's kind of a challenge. What do you have to do to be a better communicator? Because everybody on the floor is moving and doing things. What, what's it going to take for you to be a better communicator? Just work with my teammates. Yeah, yeah. Do you have an outlook for the team? Um, yeah, I think we'll be really successful, like a winning record probably. Yeah, what's it going to take? Um, <coughs> working as a team. Yeah, you have a college plan yet? I'm going to the University of Indianapolis for physical therapy. Oh, cool. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. All right. All right. Good morning, Paige. Hey. <laughs> Favorite part of playing basketball? Probably being around all my friends and teammates. Yeah. I've been around these people for I don't even know how long. Yeah. You enjoy it? Yeah. Working hard? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's the, the biggest challenge for you playing basketball? Probably talking and make, keeping up the communication is the key to basketball. And I feel like sometimes we can like that, but yeah. then we, we end up picking it up, I feel like. Offense or defense for you? Definitely offense. <laughs> shocker. <laughs> it is a shocker. I know. I've, I've, I've seen her play four years. That's yeah. a shocker. Um, so offense is a favorite. Three-point shot? Can be. Can be? The side shot. Oh, side shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what about defense then? What's what do you what do you what do you not like playing defense? It's just difficult. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, <laughs> you have to be aware. A and communication. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a challenge. <laughs> um, do you like running the offense? Yeah. What's the favorite part of the offense that you like? Being able to move the ball around is probably the most fun part about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Being able to score off of that. Yeah. Did, did you? Do you guys? Does your offense feed off your defense? For sure. For, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that means you need to play good defense to feed <laughs> oh, off yeah. the offense. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he I, led you right into yeah, the. I, see, I did. That, that's not fair. Um, outlook for the team. Be successful. Yeah. Can you? Can you win a sectional? I feel like we can. I hope we have a winning record, and I feel like we definitely could do that this year. Um, and I want to refer back to the to the Salem game. How did you guys feel after the first half of the Salem game? We felt very good. Mm -hmm. We didn't think. We thought we were the underdog. Like, right. We were supposed to be the underdog, and we came up and yeah. showed us, and showed everybody what we could be. And that's what you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about uh, plans after high school? You have any yet? Probably going to go to IU. Mm -hmm. I want to be a pediatrician or a pediatric nurse. Oh, so. Wow. That sounds good. Yep. Best of luck. Thank you. All right.
One more. Morning, Harper. Good morning. Uh, talk about the, your basketball game. What do you like about it? What you don't like about it? Um, I really enjoy just you know everybody outside being around my teammates. Mm -hmm. Like we've been together forever. Yeah. Um, one of the worst things are hard practices, coach. Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> I got the eye over here. No, no kidding. She's one of the uh, ones. She'll let me know if she doesn't like the practice plan, but it's all yeah. fun. Yeah, it's all in fun. That's right. So yeah. Yeah. What about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This is what uh, I have to deal with everything. I understand. <laughs> I know how that goes. I love them. Uh, um, what do you need to improve on in your game? Um, one of the things I most like struggle with is just like mentality. Like it's very easy for me to get down on myself, mm -hmm. but I think throughout the season, it's definitely, I'm going to try to improve that. What, what's what's it going to take? Well, I mean, what's it going to take to be a better a mental basketball player? Um, yeah. I think just more reliance on your teammates mm -hmm. and. Like, not taking everything so seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, everything's not the end of the world. But. When you make a mistake, is it hard to put it behind you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's hard for anybody to do. You know, she's one of her worst critics. And, mm -hmm. you know, we got to we gotta remind her, like, it's okay to make a mistake. Right. You, know, you just go do something about it. Everybody's right. going to make mistakes. And that's and that really goes for almost the entire team. They're so hard on, right. on themselves because right. they want they hold themselves to high standards. But, you know, they got to go in there and realize mm -hmm. nobody's going to play a perfect game. Right. Harper, how's your defense? Uh, better than my offense. <laughs> better than your offense? What makes you a better defensive player than offensive player? Uh, Defense-wise, well, it's hard to brick a layup on defense. <laughs> <laughs> so This is true. This is true. What about your outlook for the team? Uh, I think we're going to be pretty good this year. Sectional champs, maybe? Hopefully. Hopefully. Do you have plans after high school? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to college. I just don't know where or for what. Or for what, yeah, <laughs> but you're going to go to college for sure. Yeah. All right, best of luck. Well, Coach, looking down at the schedule, you've got um, – at Floyd, Jeffersonville back-to-back -back conference games, uh, New Washington at Seymour, Jennings County, Bedford, mm -hmm. North Lawrence, that stretch of the HHC for you guys. You know, that's a, December is, you know, pretty rough. It's got a tough schedule for us, but you know what? Again, I'm so competitive, and I know they right. are too. Um, I just keep thinking about last year and that month that I want to take that month and use it to get some revenge games in. There's some games that we lost throughout last year in December that we had no business of losing. So I know they're going to be hungry for them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know Jeffersonville, I think if I looked, they were ranked either 9th or 12th, right. somewhere around in there. So right. that's going to be a tough match for us. Um, but I'm excited for the challenge. We're going to play it at home. Hopefully we can pack the stands and get some fans in there, get us a little six-man going on. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited for it. And then we got Floyd. You know, it's a long bus ride down there. we got to make sure we show up and come up off the bus ready to play. Uh, a little change for you at the Chris Christmas break, you're at Plainfield at the mm -hmm. tournament up there. Yeah, you know, um, I'm excited to play some different teams, kind of go up north, um, get us ready for sectionals, playing those type of teams. Um, so I'm excited for it. I know the girls are excited for it for a change and to get ready for sectionals. You look at the, the rest of the schedule for January at Brownstown, at New Albany, mm -hmm. at Silver Creek, Hoston Corden, at Scottsburg, Columbus. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't end. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, uh, January, we were able to show what we were made of. I hope we can do the same thing uh, this year to get us ready for sectionals, you know, playing our best basketball. Um, they proved they could do it last year so I know we can do it again but want to try and last the whole season rather than just the end of the season. What do you what do you think this team and, it, and they tell me they you know they, they have a positive outlook for the season mm -hmm. kind of your outlook for this team? Um, you know we since we moved sectionals it's a huge challenge but I know they're up for it I, you know and looking at them they're confident they know what they're able to do they know what they're capable of doing when you compete against the number one team in 3A right now mm -hmm. so as long as they can keep that confidence up and know what they can do together as a team we're going to be a, a fun force to be with at sectional time. Yeah, and this tough schedule in January will kind of come into play in Absolutely sectional. Absolutely, getting us ready for it. All right, Coach, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, Coach Sonia Boyer and the Madison Lady Cubs in with us this morning talking basketball. Again, I want to say thanks to Harper Watson, Morgan Cahall, Megan E, Jesse Dyer, and Paige Young for stopping by this morning. Thanks to Jordan Barron Studio. I'm Tim Torrance. We'll see you next time on Coach's Corner live from McDonald's on Works 96.7.